Welcome back for another training exercise, Odu Cadets. Today's mission, creating work order dependencies. Now, sometimes during the manufacturing process, certain operations must be completed before moving on to the rest. Think about it. You don't want to put the legs on a table before you cut them to the right length. I mean, that would just be silly. Good news for Odoo users. The manufacturing app allows us to use work order dependencies to set the order in which work orders are scheduled. So, enough chit chat. Let's jump right into it. All right, Odoo Cadet, once again, we're starting off this mission by making sure our database is properly configured. Now, don't call me Pinhead, though, because this is one configuration you won't lament. All right, let's begin by jumping into manufacturing. Head up here to configuration and settings. Now you've made your way over to the operations header over here. I need to make sure that work orders is enabled. And what do you know? When the work order setting is enabled, something else has appeared right beneath it titled work order dependencies. Now make sure that's also enabled. And once that you're all set to go, hit save to save all of our changes. And there you have it. We're all set to start using work order dependencies on our work orders. All right, now it's time to set work order dependencies for products so that we can plan work orders based on the order in which they should be carried out. If you're a savvy Odoo user, you may have already guessed where work order dependencies are set. That's right, directly on the bombs. Now to start this process, we're going to stay inside of the manufacturing app and go up here to products, bill of materials, let's create a new one. All right, I've already set up a table as an example product for us to manufacture, so I'm actually going to select it from this dropdown, but I'm also going to type. Perfect. Now on the components tab below, I'm going to add one tabletop because you need that to make a table. And then we're going to add four table legs because it needs four table legs to be a proper table. Perfect. Now, since we actually enabled the work order setting, the operations tab appears over here in the center. However, I'm not going to click on that quite yet because I need to do something first. Instead, I'm going to click miscellaneous and down here, operation dependencies. Now with that done, I can finally click on operations. All right, first, I'm going to add the first two, which is you got to cut the legs. I'm just going to title it like that. And it's going to be at the cut station. That all set up. We're going to make a new one. And this time, what comes after you've cut something, as I said before, you need to assemble the table. Very cryptic, very perfect. All right. And that's going to be on the assembly line. And now we're going to hit save and close. All right. We're going to do a quick manual save right there. Okay, now perfect. Normally this bomb would be ready to go. However, since the order of the operations is important, we still need to set a work order dependency to ensure that cutting comes before assembling at this point. Now to do so, I'm going to click on the options menu over here and we're going to select block by. You'll notice something new appears over here. And just like that, brand new column. Now I can finally click on the assemble the table and you'll notice there's an option here that's titled blocked by. And from this drop down menu, we're going to select that it is blocked by the cutting of the legs. And then we're going to hit save and manually save there too. So what did that do? That means the assemble table operation will be blocked by the cut table legs operation. So the assemble will always be scheduled after cutting the legs. Perfect. Everything is ready and we're all ready to go. Now we're ready to start the manufacturing process by clicking up here onto operations and manufacturing orders. Let's make a new one. We're going to select that table that I've been talking about. Beautiful table. Okay, once that we're done, we give it a quick confirmation. Now with the MO confirmed, let's take a look over here at the work orders tab. Now you'll notice the status on these two is a bit different. Right now, the status for cutting the actual legs is ready, but the assembly is waiting. Now, why is that? This is because we set it to be blocked by cutting first. If the assembled table operation was not blocked, it would also just say ready. Additionally, having the second work order blocked by the first one affects the way work orders are scheduled. I'll show you what I mean by that by clicking up here onto the plan button and then going up here into planning and by work center. All right, this gives us a pretty big view, but in this case, I want to see the day so I could show you something. Now, immediately, as you can see, both of our work orders appear there and they've been scheduled. However, the assemble, the actual table work order is not scheduled to be carried out until after the cutting ends up occurring. You can tell one is blocked by the other because of the arrow that is actually connecting them over there. What happens though if I drag and drop it so that it happens after the assembly for the cutting? Like if we put it there. Boom. You'll notice immediately arrow turns red to let me know that there's a dependency error. To put the operation back into the right order, I can drag and drop it back to where it was 
Or in our case, I could also select something else, such as hovering over the arrow, and I can select the forward button over here. And all that that pretty much did right there is it forwarded it so that it happens at a different time. Now, if we go to tomorrow, you'll see that there right there, oh doers. Now, doing so moves the whole operation after the cut operation again. All right, let's return back over to the MO. So we're going to go up here to operations and manufacturing orders, and we're going to select it. Now, when we go in and over here to work orders, let's see what happens when we process this. So we're actually going to start, and we're going to make sure that that's finished. Now, you'll notice immediately once that it was completed, it allows us to now do the actual assembly. And once again, we'll also finish that off right there. And everything is pretty much and ready to go. And now we can select Mark is done. And it works. And everything is done and we've made a table. And there you have it, Odoers, my Odoo Cadets. The work order dependencies feature is a great way to ensure work orders are planned based on which orders need to be completed first. Helping you and your company stay as efficient as possible. I'll see you bright and early for our next mission, Odoers.